Our beloved 8% Hard AF Seltzer is now live in over 1,200 locations across the United States. We're now available in Florida, Georgia, Alabama, Tennessee, North Carolina, Ohio, and Texas. Go to hardafseltzer.com today, click on the store locator, enter your city or zip, and find the nearest location closest to you. Welcome to Drinking Bros, presented by GhostBed.com. Oh, welcome to Drinking Bros, kids. Uh, is the day that we were dreading. We knew it would happen someday. Someday, your hero is going to die. Jeff died. Where were you when, uh, when Carl Weathers died today? I was standing right there having a good time, spinning a basketball on my finger, mm-hmm. making new friends. Sure. And then you came in hot. Yeah. You have terrible bedside manner, mm-hmm. might I mention. Do I? Yeah. Usually go, guys, I've, I got to tell you some bad news. <laughs> Someone you respect and revere has passed. This fucking asshole just bursts in. He's dead. Book of Carl Weather. You know, I was like, give me a minute, you know? That's what, yeah. that's what happened. That's why he's not allowed back in hospitals. No, yeah, I, know. Yeah, I can't no. go back. Yeah. Uh, in, in, in all sincerity, though, I did have a, an honest moment with our biggest Carl Weathers fan ever. Uh, Jack Mandeville has been on the program many, many times. I did give bedside manner. Jack, I called you and okay. I said Carl Weathers died. Uh, how you holding up over there? Rusk, Rusk, Rusk. Yep. Yeah, there, oh, there there. Russ, yeah. I, I, please, God, shoot me. Please, yeah. I, he's gone. Uh, uh, yeah. Somehow it's better that the internet sucks. Grieve hard. Yeah. Grieve hard, Jack. Uh, Jack Mandeville, everybody. Thanks for tuning in, Jack. We appreciate you being here. Uh, loved your insight on Carl. And uh, I'll see you at the funeral. Obviously, both of us are invited. In the meantime, Jeff dies here. How are you, Jeff? Wait, nice before, you, before we get no. into this. Is there more? He looks more and more <laughs> like a certain porn star every day. Who am I thinking of? Oh, the, the one Ron who's... Jeremy. Yeah, yeah, the raper. No. The rapist. Yeah, he's in prison for life. No, well, he's not. He got out. Yeah, he, he got out. He got out. He beat yeah, it. Look how bad my sources are. He beat it, dude. You really? didn't even know Carl yeah. Weathers was dead. Mental insanity. Or that it was fucking uh, Tom Selleck's Tom birthday. birthday. Yeah. Jeff, on, do you man. read? Your fucking God shit damn together, it. Do you I read, Jeff? No, I listen to books sometimes. <laughs> Jesus Christ. <laughs> Reading is for nerds to be It there, is. Dude. It is. Jack, are you still there, bud? Yep. Oh, uh, yeah, Ross, I am bleeding. Ross, Carl Weathers, he, he we was lost in him. Magnum Force Friday, Foster, Buck Town, Fort Deuces, yep. Rocky. You bet. Close encounters of yep. the third time. Sure. Semi tough Force 10 from Rocky 2, yep. Death Hunt, Rocky 3, Rocky 4, Predator, yep. Action Jackson, Hurricane Smith, Happy Gilmore. Kill the feet. Nikki, Kill the Nikki, fucking feet. Rob, Kill the feet. Kill the feet. He Here was also on 28 there episodes of In the Heat of the Night. Wait, he was, yeah. in, he was in Sasquatch? He was in Sasquatch. Sasquatch. Did you see Sasquatch? No, but the Sasquatch movie. Sasquatch Gang. He yeah, played it was Dr. A good movie. Artemis Snodgrass, which sounds a lot like Carl Weathers. Justin actually. Long was in that film. I believe it was in Sundance. Uh, uh, him and Joey Kern were in that movie. You guys know a lot of stuff. I was, <laughs> Don't we? Yeah, it's impressive. Don't we? Uh, Carl Weathers, though, solved racism, and then I feel like we're going backwards here. You're in Austin now. We just had a segregated uh, city council meeting. Oh, yeah? Yeah. Cool. Going back to the good old days. Well, it's yeah, like public right. here. It's public <laughs> hearings where one of them is only for uh, people of color or colored people, depending on how you... Ex- that's I'm going to tweet that. I'm that's say, what they're uh, going back for. I heard that they had the meeting uh, just for color people of color mm-hmm. to address... Um, which is great. I heard the whites only one is tomorrow. Yep, that's <laughs> gotta, true. Actually, is the whites only. I one think everyone's invited to the whites only one. No, but then there's a separate one for it's whites only. For co- can we just say colored people? Yeah, no, that, well, I don't that, think no, that's, that's, that's a difference. I think you can. can you explain that's to what they me? Were saying. Can you explain to me the difference between people of color and colored people? Go. Yes, one um, has been deemed uh, wrong to say by I don't know by fucking who? the internet or something. James oh, Earl shit, Jones was it? James Earl Jones. People? That's pretty yeah. serious. Carl Weathers said it. No, well, James, that was his dying right right before he died. I think if James Earl Jones gets dementia, he's just going to be staring into the mirror saying baseball over and over for the rest of his goddamn life. That's what I want it to be, to be honest. This is going to be a depressing show then, dude. Oh, is he dead too? No, but he he does have dementia. Fuck yeah, dude. He he had to sign off on it. I'm going to go see him. He had to sign off on everything. So what do you mean sign off on everything? Oh, you mean social media? So his voice is... got a lot of stuff. His voice Mm. is number two. 
number two most valuable AI voice. Well, he was collecting all those really? baseballs yes. from the Sandlot kids, Is too. Morgan Freeman the highest? Boom. Yeah. There you go. And uh, they're still trying to figure out a number for Morgan Freeman right now. Yeah. And Does nobody count, knows what to do. Count the freckles a million each per Oof. freckle. A million per freckle. It's tough to count freckles. That's going to be $176 million right That's there. right. That's worth it. it Morgan is. Freeman? I think so. It's free content into perpetuity, basically. Uh, yeah. Yeah. So. But that's a big voice, though. Mm -hmm. uh, you got a big voice, Jeff. Think so? Yeah, I feel like I, I could do. do a cartoon voice or something. You mm -hmm. think so? Yeah, I think it'd be cool. Well, I mean, it's not hard. I could be a guy on Bob's Burgers or something. Mm. If you try hard enough, yeah. if you keep your feet on the ground, you know what, we, you, reaching for the you know what we wanted to do? We wanted to do a cartoon where it was Alex Jones, but he was a fucking uh, third grader. Yeah, cool. Yeah, and he's just like going. But he's on. normal. He's still, well, not, what do you say, what do you mean normal? Uh, he's this age, but he talks like he's in third grade, you know? That's good. Tell, tell, tell everybody about the shy comms. Yeah, oh, yeah. you gotta, you gotta, uh, Miss, when Mrs. You, Grace, you gotta, you gotta, you gotta stop Chinese So when here. you said he's normal, you mean it's the same Alex Jones, just as a third grade. Correct. And instead of talking about gay frogs and politics, he's, you map that on to the fucking elementary school. Yeah, he's right? still there. He's still there. Great. Yeah. Uh, you're hated by women a lot right now, and, uh, and I'm. We're gonna go hard. We, we're, we're going hard from the from the get go here. Yeah. Um, why on. is that? Why does every woman hate you? I don't. Well, I don't think every woman hates. <laughs> no, it's true. I like everybody's been saying your buddy over there. Where is he at? Uh, the rapist. Yeah, he's well. Put him on camera. Uh, allegedly, he's raped before, allegedly. right? Has he raped before? No, allegedly. Oh, well, maybe. But he was like, yeah, dude. Ask him. He's like, every fucking woman hates him. Super misogynist, his jokes yeah, this, and everything uh, else. I this would help my career. No, no, it's, it's definitely not. This is where it goes to die. <laughs> no, um, no women watch this show. What did fine. you say? What did you say? I didn't say anything. Come on, you said something. No, I, I, I like to make fun of women in my comedy show. I No, I, we love your yeah. comedy, by the way. And then a few times I might have said that female comics are terrible at comedy. <laughs> but, you know, that was more of just like a general statement more than all female comics. It's a chat. Prove me wrong. There's a lot of right? fun. Sarah Silverman is very, I don't even agree with Sarah so much politics, but I think she's very funny, mm. and that proves when you're funny is when I can disagree with you and still think you're funny. No. Yeah, I think Sarah Silverman's very funny. Yeah, I watched uh, Amy Schumer's new uh, uh, sketch series on Paramount Plus. Amy Schumer's the Bo Jackson of stand-up comedy. You think so? Yeah, Bo Jackson has no records. He'll never be in the Hall of Fame. He didn't win any championships. But there was a window of time where there was no one better than mm. Bo Jackson. It was the Bo Jackson yeah. show. When she was talking about like uh, cum and rape and shit. Who was? And saying racist shit. Yeah, she Amy was Schumer. Really funny, yeah. She was. She's she got to one go, gear. You she know, used to go super hard. Can... Well, we, welcome to Drinking Bros. We, yeah. That's it. That's I'm the whole actually being. Show. I'm, I'm tame today. I feel <laughs> like I'm pretty tame today. <laughs> I love it. No, but I'm saying Amy Schumer had this window where I remember watching her. The, the specials were good. She was funny. I watched her at the table at the cellar. I was like watching her like, like I was like a, like a hero or something. She was like mm -hmm. Colin Quinn was sharing a story, and then she just dunked on Colin Quinn. Everybody laughed. I was like, dude, this chick's in her. In yeah. her element. And then she and switched then to an activist. And now she's just terrible and stupid and yeah. says dumb shit and has terrible political opinions. She exploited being a pig for literally, like, years. Yep. Being like, like, like the way we talk. Mm. Mm -hmm. but, the, but, you know, and now she's like, I, would, I hate people like that. It's like, that's how you got rich, stupid. And that's, how, that's exactly how I felt. Like, everything you did to get there, you switched, and then yeah. she tried to go back to it. Well, not just sketch it, series. It's not that she, she switched. She's also, like, criticizing people who yeah. did what she did to get rich. Exactly. That's the kind of person that climbs the ladder and pulls that motherfucker up with him. Right. right. Uh, otherwise known as a cunt. Yeah. Well, think about how many people have done that, too. Yeah, oh, yeah. Like uh, Perez Hilton. He was just like a mean oh, bully. Mm -hmm. And he's like, I, I, we don't bully on here. It's like, that was your whole thing. That's yeah. how you got famous. Well, he, Emily Ratatinsky shows her boobs and dances around with Robin Thicke. Mm -hmm. that's, that's how she does the whole thing. And then waits till she's stupid famous and stupid rich to mm -hmm. like be like, can you believe they made me do oh, yeah. that? Yeah. And, and then OJ killed that white woman and he's out there looking for the real killers. Like, just fucking say you yeah. did it. Dude. Yeah. Just be honest. Have you seen her tits, by the way? Who's? Uh, Emily Ratatouille. In the, in the music video I did, yeah. Have you seen it in real life? No. Oh, Bob, pull these up. We've pulled these up before. What do you mean in before. real life? That's oh, you same. mean like not oh, in a music video? God, yeah, dude. it's the same set of titties. What do you, what's no, the, that, she's got some some spectacular nudes that, le that leaked and uh, I went down a rabbit hole one Still night. Still I was, digital. I was not in. It was so it was Delco. You were the one that pushed me over the edge where I was just like, wait, her? And then I really went down into these nudes and I was like, God damn, now I understand. I think like, it's a, a, a bit of a problem that you're saying real life when you're referring to leaked nudes on the internet. Yeah. Yeah. Right. Because yeah, that's not real that's, life. But that's fake. 
You know what I'm saying? Like, that's fake. If you see, this is the problem. There's been too much reality TV and too much digital AI, Uncanny Valley shit. If you saw our titties in real life right now, you'd be like, nah. (laughs) <laughs> I'm gonna I, also, go, I got better pictures than that bitch get out of here but that, that's what I I'm also about. like so, that you said they were like leaked there's like a file of 9,000 of yeah, them and they're like yeah. professional photos yeah. look at well that's not, is that a professional photo let me ask you that. no that's a uh, selfie sure no the is. other one oh you mean the one of her asshole yeah so I don't, I don't like the professional ones yeah I'm talking about strictly where she had to set it up to get an asshole selfie like that and we've talked about this with Hope Solo uh, a bunch in the past here that's a tough angle to achieve. You really do like pieces of shit. You had Hope Solo. We on. love Hope Solo. Oh, well, we didn't have her on <laughs> the show. Her on. She will but definitely her asshole not come is in the, the intro of oh, our yeah. show. Yeah, she's a piece of we shit. We hit oh, it yeah. like David Fincher. Yeah. So our, our she's show. She's one of these scumbag athletes. Like 100%. You guys like, yeah. But uh, uh, our show, when you go back and watch it, yeah. actually starts with it's it's like it's like a Fincher movie. It starts with Hope Solo's asshole, I and like then it that. begins. Or like I, I like to think fans. of it as James Bond. Ah. Right? I like that. That's yeah. that's what I thought that James Bond opening scene was that whole time. I'm like, oh, this is a gay porn. Yeah. And then, you know, it turns out it wasn't, which is yeah. super disappointing. Disappointing. I was hoping for it, but after seeing these, then I got the ratatouille shit because she doesn't have any discernible talents. She's got an she Audi. Do anything. She's Lots got an Audi butthole. Fun. That means it's been used. Sure. Has. That's good news, right? Like if sure you're fucking has. scouting, that's good news. Yeah. Yeah, so congratulations on that. And by the way, this is quite a bit better than the Hope Solo asshole Very picture. attractive. It is. Very attractive woman. And mm-hmm. by the way, for all the Hope Solo fans out there, including myself, I'm not, I'm not looking down on her asshole. We just found a better one. And well, I kind of look down on the fact that she gets shit-faced in the middle of the day with her kids in the car and then goes to Who Target. Who are you talking about? Hope Solo. Yeah, Hope she Solo. sucks. Yeah, she's yeah. terrible. She got arrested. That's, that's not great. She's she got arrested. involved in like three domestic violence charges. But it, it, she was the one who was charged. Allegedly. Yeah. What's up? She beat the shit out of her husband. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. She sucks. Wait, who was her yeah, husband? He was so. an athlete? Jeremy Stevens. Jeremy he Stevens. Played, he played for the Seattle Seahawks. Yeah, he's mm. the tight end there. He, uh, he had a whole season where every, every game was bobble hand night. Sure was. <laughs> he didn't do well. catch anything. No, they so, didn't get rid of him. Well, how, what do you say to your buddies in the NFL locker room when, again, you've mm-hmm. been hit by your wife again? He has to say, well, I couldn't hit him back. You know, I'm a giant. Tell that to Ray Rice, dude. Yeah. Look, you just got to do it in a place that doesn't have cameras. Then it's your word versus hers. Kareem Hunt's back in the NFL. If you don't he see that like Ray Rice games. video, he's probably in the Hall of Fame. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, easy. Easy. Yeah, Ray Rice. And Kareem Hunt game. missed, what, like t- a total of 10 games, maybe? Three. No, I mean, but because he missed, well, I guess he was hurt at the beginning of the yeah. season. So. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then yeah. he was back, and he was fine. And he had a great year this year, too, so, after uh, Chubb went down. Kareem Hunt was on video. Uh, yeah, well, but oh, that's right. But it was a you know it was, it was a, a faraway video. It was a sidekick too. It was like it, uh, it was like Ray a karate Rice kit, level, yeah. no. and it was a white person too, so he could say they use the n word and get away with it. That's right. Which is also oh, actually, you know helpful. who else was on video? Fucking Joe Mixon. That's right. Joe Mixon shattered that chick's face. He sure did. He sure did. But he was in college. And he's still having a great career in Cincinnati right now. I'll be honest with you guys. I could never hit a woman just because I don't treat women as equals. Yeah, and I understand that. We don't believe in the suffragettes like, yeah. here. You Find, you, there's, there's don't always, vote, don't drive. Yeah, yeah just, I would never do that. Dude. Me neither. I'm a good guy. I like, uh, I like that, yeah. <laughs> I don't hit them. There's em. always, even, would, even in egalitarianism, there's misogyny to be I found. Don't, I don't hit them, dude. Hey, what, yeah. what do you do? You know, yell at them a little. Yeah. Shake him like a baby. Yeah, you, you get stern. You try to use reason, and they go, "What is this guy a witch?" <laughs> <laughs> He's making a lot of sense. This is crazy. A, lot, a, a hard shake. That's wow. You no, I've never shake? shook any either. No. Okay. You, you did a good. Do you threaten a fist? No. A girl no, that, I like the psychological devastation. You know, that's a much more effective. Just like yeah. say, hey, your sister's lost a lot of weight. Yeah, just stuff like yeah, <laughs> just stuff like yeah. <laughs> you go all right, then fucking leave. And they're like, well, what do you mean leave? I go, get up, go, get go. out of here, grab your stuff. You did a good one. Go ahead, pig. You, this get is, out of here. This is a joke from a thing you did last year, I think. But you, I think you posted it today about uh, how men pay for everything. Oh yeah, it's yeah. pretty good. Thanks. It's true. It's yeah. very annoying. Everybody's worried about the gender pay gap. Nobody's mm. worried about the gender pain for shit gap. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Nobody seems to care about that. Nobody cares about that. Yeah. Well, now more the, there's a, a study that came out this past week that says there are more single women who own homes than single men. I'm like, I wonder how that happened. Yeah, no shit. I wonder how that happened. Yeah. Divorce. Yeah. I wonder how fucking Jeff Bezos' ex-wife got rich. Man, uh, that whole Melinda fucking Gates. thing. I can't stop thinking about it. I can't stop thinking. I brought up the Amazon Thursday night thing and how terrible Tony Gonzalez was. And one reason he's on there is because he's cucking, he's cucking Gonzalez, dude. Tony, who the fuck is Tony Gonzalez? The, the tight end. Yeah, for wait, fa- what, what's uh, going on with him? Falcon, but oh, I don't know the story. Bezos is cucking Gonzalez, dude. What does that mean? So it's fucking nuts. Uh, they have a kid together. Him and the new wife have a kid together from the past. 
and uh, baby mama. Does Tony Gonzalez have a new wife? I have no context about what you're saying. Oh boy, you got to bring this up here. Because I yeah, knew Tony. Explain. Gonzalez. Have you never seen is... these photos yeah, here? Bezos yeah. is fucking Tony Gonzalez's ex-wife. Yes. And, okay. But, and, now, and... but they're all boys. Okay. Like Bezos bros out with him. And so Tony's got to show up, dude, and go to the games, do everything for Amazon. He's got to go to the yacht. He's got to do all this shit. Yeah, that dude. sounds rough, dude. No shit. It sounds rough to to have a billionaire fuck I, your ex. I think that he might not be done. Come on. You think so? Oh, you think he's still sliding in there? Is that what you're saying? Look at this picture. I don't think so, man. Wait, so I, how long ago did Tony Gonzalez leave his wife or whatever? They, they're not together? He's never been married. To, to my knowledge, I don't think he's ever been married, right? He used to date this chick from the new guy, and uh, they were close, but apparently he used to always like cheat on everybody or something. Uh, so I'm um, confused. Yeah, you should be, dude. Uh, look it up. I don't think he's married. So I think he's just fucking hanging out on all this shit, and Bezos makes him hang out there. Wow. That sounds cool. So I, 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 I Would you be down for that? I'd hang with Bezos. Him. Also, really? I know a lot of guys that are so tired of their wives that they're like, I'd rather hang out with Jeff Bezos. Well, you got to fuck my wife? All right, go ahead. <laughs> They're all just tired of her. You know, it's not like a sense of pride anymore. There really isn't. Yeah, they go, he's like, I'm been, he's Tony Gonzalez. He's like, I'm, I mean, maybe I'm it's, banging other chicks too, probably. Maybe it's like letting your buddy, like, drive your truck or something. Yeah. <sighs> or you get a new maybe, gun, like, hey, you want to... Sh- Put a couple rounds. They probably thing. gossip about her, like you know how she is. You know, like, like they're, they're, they're going, oh, you know. And she I'm looks glad like you're she's dealing done. with it, not me, Jeffy. <laughs> she looks like she's done a couple of steroid cycles. I can't see her. Let's see. We got a better photo. Yeah, of her? if yeah. you go in close, it's a surprised face. It's a very shocked face. Well, that's, that's just permanent. standard stuff. But the, her body structure, she's definitely on. Well, some he's gas. on the fucking gas, so yeah, it would make sense. It is funny. Look at Bezos, right? Yeah. And then look at Tony Gonzalez. And uh, this woman likes both of them, or she, you know. So her type isn't tall, right? Because Jeff Bezos isn't mm-hmm. tall. Her type isn't athletic, because Jeff Bezos isn't athletic. Mm-hmm. Her type is rich. Yeah, that's the only thing those two men have in common. I yeah. know. I, I, there's an old fucking like American Dad or Family Guy episode about this, and the woman's like, "I know I'm, I know I'm kind of a nerd, but I'm super into rich guys." <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah, you don't say, honey. <laughs> Because her, for her other husband, who she left for Bezos, was the uh, the top agent in Hollywood. Oh, yeah. So he was rich as fuck, it's too, just Patrick some, Weitzel. Just lifestyle for these ladies. It's I didn't... The steroid connection, though, is interesting because look at the face. Like, she's getting ready to compete there. Yeah, she's You're got, right. She's got some features that makes it look like she's been on a couple of cycles. Maybe, yeah. maybe actively on them, actually. At least HGH or Samorlin, Ipamorlin, or something like that. Look at how fucking ripped she is, too. Well, a lot of that yeah. is just like tits. She's got strong are... nipples. Yeah. Very strong nipples. Yeah, those are uh, those are real, by the way. Yeah, they sure are. They sure are. A lot of people are getting the fake ones these days. Those uh, fake bras? No, no, I mean, like, the tits are real. Oh, those? Not a, yeah. not a oh, prayer. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Uh, not a prayer. Oh, yeah. They look cool. That yeah. looks like that. You're, you're, you're straight out of a Barbie box right there, oh, that's, my man. Those are, re- <laughs> those are real. Have you even seen fake tits before? Not one fucking prayer, yeah. though. But look at how tiny your waist is. Yeah. How do you get to be like... I guess it's just money. Ozempic. You can do this shit. You know. Yeah, Ozempic and, and a, steroids. And a, is that a cocktail you take together? I know together? a woman... A uh, I don't know. We don't talk no more, but she... Um, <laughs> She like used to not work out or anything, but and her body was like she looked like she's made in a lab, mm. you know, just like if you like plastic surgery, you know, if you don't mind plastic surgery, this is the hottest chick in the world, but it's all fake. But um, I'd be like, you don't work out? She goes, no, I hate working out. I go, how do you look like this? She goes, this every few months I just go get lipo. So she and she would just like eat whatever she wants to do, but then like go get lipo's pretty intrusive. Mm. It is, yeah. It's not like the most painless yeah. thing. She goes, yeah, yeah just. Also, lipo doesn't get away or get rid of visceral fat. That is to say, fat around your organs. Oh, really? So if you live like oh, that, you're going to have... Oh, inside? She'll, she'll be skinny with heart disease, yeah. yeah. That's fucking stupid. <laughs> That's oh, yeah. Uh, and by the way, on the flip side of this, of, of attracting rich, that fucking DA down in Fulton County, like, it's the same way. That guy who's fucking her, he doesn't enjoy that. Oh, is he rich or is she rich? She's rich. And oh. so he got paid 700 k yeah. for working for her. Yeah, that guy's you, a, it's like, who guy's do you think loser. gets judged more? Or let me even, even who do you personally judge more? Uh, poor dude who fucks rich woman or poor woman who fucks rich dude? I respect it zero on both. I know it would be tough for me to choose. Really? You've never been there on the other side of it? What do you mean? Have you fucked a really rich woman before? I haven't. It didn't help me financially at all. No shit. You yeah, I still paid for everything. You didn't wait it out. No, but honestly, it's also like, yeah, you're right. I didn't. You didn't wait it out. <laughs> it didn't go long. When you say wait it out, you mean until she dies? No. Try to get until, in the will? But, but like until uh, it's long enough where you're engaged and you're like, hey, hon, 
I don't know if shit's ever going to get better here. Yeah. And I, when the waiter comes over from the Olive Garden, you pick this up, like, the whole thing. I, I th yeah, I don't, I don't know how to, com or, like, articulate it. I've never considered the financial aspect of anyone I've ever dated. I've never even thought about it for a mm. second. No shit. Ever. Who's the richest person you've ever dated? Like, how much money does she have? Um, I don't know. I've dated a few millionaires. Okay, but were we, were we talking one to ten or, or higher than ten million? Probably higher than ten million, yeah. Okay. Yeah. They've uh, got a lot. Yeah. Yeah. I've never been in that situation. But it affected our lives zero. Yeah. Really? It, like, yeah, like we already had great, you know, we're, it's, it didn't have any, like, I would never be like with my boys, like, she's got tons of money. Mm. Like, that would never be a thing, I don't think. When the bill came, did she take it? Sometimes, but most of the time me. Okay. No matter where we were. Yeah, as a we general doing. rule, if I'm with a woman, there's no way she's paying for something in my presence. I yeah, don't know and why. No, we're just... recording this. That's another reason that I'm being pretty diplomatic because it's like most of the time I paid for every girl I've ever known. Mm. But I don't want to have a girl text me like, that's not true. Remember when we were in Mexico and I bought dinner? You know, it's like, yeah. it's, it's, there's been moments where it happens. But for the most part, 99% of the time I pay for everything. But that's the right way to no handle it. No matter how poor or rich well. she is. Yeah, we're yeah. men. The yeah. lobster's cheaper in Mexico, too. So it's like, yeah. all right, cool. You're going to buy it. Yeah, Mexico. but it speaks Spanish, dude. Mexico's the best. I can't, you can't have a conversation. So I do a lot of mushrooms, you understand? Yeah. <laughs> that lobster starts speaking in Spanish. I'm like, fucking no habla, yeah. bro. I don't yeah. know what to tell you. Yeah, you, uh, why don't you want to hang out? Yeah, let's I, do some Go back cocaine. to America. I was so shocked the first time at the price of it that I ordered another one. I was yeah. like, bring another one over. I got two lobster money here. I sure did. I was like, bring two. I was like, fuck it. Because it's never just enough. Yeah, one cool. isn't just enough yeah. where you're like, oh, fuck, is that it? 30? Yeah. yeah, bring another one. Let's do another one. That's why it's swimming in butter. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Well, you don't just order lobster, right? You got to get a steak with that. Uh, you do and you don't. It depends on what your, you uh, what your booze is there, though. Because uh, I went fishbowl with a margarita. So I was filling up on that, and mm. then the first lobster came, and I was like, oh, shit, you know what? Yeah. I'll what is that, what does that have to do I've with? I've got $8. What's that have to do with steak? <laughs> what's that got to do with steak, though? Nothing. I don't really trust the meat in Mexico. Like the, you trust seafood I was in Mexico. Bought, well, I was right by beef? the ocean. I, I could piss into it. Canelo was eating beef down there, and he tested positive for fucking steroids. That's what I'm saying. So that's what you're getting, bro. That's like, what do you, what do you mean that's what you're saying? I don't know what I'm getting. Yeah, I'm you're not, getting fucking free steroids, bitch. I don't know when my next fight is, you know? Fuck, man. That'd be cool. You're not getting tested. <laughs> by fucking USADA. Just get out there and get those steroids, Start dating man. this Gonzalez lady. Fuck yeah, dude. Exactly. I dated somebody rich once, like super fucking rich, and she was offended that I even tried to Is that pay. birth control? It looks like birth control, yeah, dude. He's What's in the pocket there? He started talking about steroids. It reminded me I'm on a steroid right now. Are you fuck really? Yeah. What happened to you? You got COVID or something? Uh, no, I had like this chest cough, mm. but I've been... Oh, you're on a Z-pack. HIV. I, no, it's steroids. It's HIV, buddy. You got AIDS? No. Yeah, are you somehow... I just, are you guys not listening? I'm on a steroid. Uh, you but keep that's saying what these But things. every AIDS victim you're, says yeah, I'm on using steroids, using buzzwords. Dude. Jesus Christ. That's are what you, Charlie Sheen said. Yeah. Are you oh, somehow connected hey. to this dude in Kansas City who was an AIDS researcher and murdered all of his friends? Uh, Allegedly. I don't Allegedly. know that guy. You're a kid. You don't know him, but you know what I'm talking about, right? You, you know haven't heard exactly about some You know exactly who it is, motherfucker. You read a, sometimes. So the tox... I'm possum. I have no idea. The tox report came out yesterday. Fentanyl Thank and cocaine, you. obviously. Thank you. Right. I called this. But it was three times. Is this your water? Throw, uh, what, yeah, three times? Ahead. I didn't know that. I didn't it's, hear. It's coconut water. But it nice. Three times the amount of fentanyl in a system there? Three times the amount of fentanyl needed to kill someone was in each of their systems. Well, that's actually kind of a low dose because uh, George Floyd had 11 times the amount Damn, of fentanyl. Damn, dude. But that just means, you know, he's stronger. Yeah. I can take so. way more fentanyl. Fuck yeah, dude. Yeah, he's good at fentanyl. And those bitch ass white boys in Kansas City? I guess so, man. Yeah. I RIP to those guys. Three times was the level, Bob. I said fentanyl, but I didn't know that much. Uh, a lot of fentanyl, also obviously cocaine. But yeah. I mean, if you're Still doing cocaine, not a lot. And, like, but doing, you know, the families the families of the de the deceased are saying that this guy, one of the cousins actually did an interview yesterday. Bob, maybe you can find it on Twitter. But uh, one of the cousins did an interview and said they called this guy the chemist or something because he would make these weird drug cocktails mm -hmm. for everybody. Yep. Certainly he didn't give them fentanyl, right? You oh, not on purpose. Not yeah. on purpose. Yeah. But you, I mean, if you're a chemist, it's relatively easy to test for fentanyl. It's not that hard. You can buy. I, it's you there's can't buy kits them. on Amazon. Well, you can't buy them in America on Amazon, but there's ways around that. Obviously. So you can ask Tony Gonzalez. He's got a connect. Uh, yeah, who, who do we got here? What is this, Bob? I think this is the cousin. Okay, let's see. Oh, this is the cousin of the fucking dude. Look yeah. at his hair. Play it. Yeah. You did get a chance also to speak to the cousin 
of one of the victims, of, of Clayton McGinney's cousin, I think his name is Caleb. What did Caleb know <laughs> and what did he Kansas share City with you? He's <laughs> really hurting about this because it's he really feels like he knows what this. happened, something that the rest of the country is surmising what happened, which yeah. is drug use, abuse, and overdosing. There and he go. says he knows a lot about Jordan Willis, the fact that he goes back all the way to high school. He knows the drug habits that happened within this circle of friends. Jordan is somebody that is known from high school as like creating drugs for people to make them feel better in certain situations. At this point, the country knows what's gonna happen, right? What the toxicology reports are gonna, what they're gonna reveal. We all know that, okay? That guy's on drugs right there. Who's yeah. the one that gave it to them? And who is the one that needs to be held responsible? Yeah. Oh man, this is an interesting conversation actually. Yeah. So let's say me and you party, right? You mm. want to party? You've been talking about a lot of drugs here. Am I let's invited? Say, yeah, you want we're all hanging out. Okay, cool. You cool. say, yeah, let's Thanks, fucking man. party. We had this guy on the podcast. He seemed like a cool dude. I asked mm. him if he wanted to do some drugs. We did some drugs. Mm. And I go, Yeah, I got you. Bring some drugs. And then we just party and then and then we die. Or like or let's say we die. And then everyone goes, Can you believe Jeff gave them drugs? They all hung out. No one who would. Who cares who gave who it, the drugs? Listen, I, let me, let me, I can, I can sell this right now. Sure can. If I'm involved, no one would blame it on you. Okay. <laughs> Every, well, but. A lot of drugs. There's DMT yeah. in that shoe up there. I'm nice. not kidding. That's a true story. So um, but do you see what I'm saying? Yeah. So like, what, yeah, like that's, we're that's on that's some dumb, sort of huh? weird witch hunt of like, can you believe this guy who's been making drugs since high school would give his friends drugs? Yeah, it's, yeah, a, yeah, it's not yeah. like he snuck it in the nachos at yeah. the Chiefs watch, yeah. you know, watching the football game. Well, maybe we should. They're just partying. Maybe we should was, blame China, who is like it manufacturing the all the yeah, fentanyl. Yeah, the fentanyl the and problem. And then the Biden administration for letting everyone come here. Right. Like I agree. Th those are the bigger yeah, problems. Yeah, yeah. Those are Instead the bigger Instead of problems. going, can you, like, I think Derek brought the drugs, and then all of them did the drugs. You're like, who gives a shit? Yeah. They, they wanted to do drugs. But if I, somebody, if your buddy just poured out pills in your hand, yeah. like these, right? Yeah. And just said, hey, and we're all beef fries. In real yeah. life, we're just watching the Chiefs game, yeah. getting fucked up. And yeah. it was just like, hey, dude, do you want? And you're like, yeah, yeah, I'll yeah. take some of these shit. You wouldn't think twice about it, and then boom. And I wouldn't want my dead. friend to get in trouble for giving me those mm. drugs. Because it's just my buddy. We're just yeah. doing some drugs. I wouldn't take pills, though. Why not? Because I don't know what's in that. Well, I just took whatever I took, so, you know, well, we're good to go. Well, that's a supplement Dude, from First, first Form. Yeah, Firstform.com yeah. uh, slash drinking bros. It's fine. These are the vitamins that I take every day. Mm. But if one of you guys give me, for, and we just met, yeah. even if you gave me something yeah, right now, think, I'd be like, all right, cool, man, yeah, you, you seem like a cool guy. Yeah, it's normal. Yeah. Yeah, I bet it's almost a shame he didn't die with them because this would just be some fentanyl. Well, he did tragedy. go to rehab the next day. Yeah, yeah. Well, that's what I. Well, did actually, not I the next day. Too. The day after he got arrested. The, the day after he yeah. got arrested, and then they so did find, uh, I think, four to six ounces of semen in each of their assholes. Mm. So the dead guys. Yeah, but you don't know if they that's showed up with that semen. semen. Don't know. They could have shown up there with that semen. So there's still a lot to the story that we don't know. Yeah, we have no idea. That's why I shine a black light on everybody's ass when they show up at my yeah, house. Yeah, inside. Inside of it, yes. Get in there. Outside, too, but mostly inside, yeah. and then down the chest. Like, if you were going to get in there, you didn't need that black light. <laughs> well. <laughs> Being thorough. I just like to be the first, yeah. <laughs> you have to be. Yeah. Uh, by the way, Rogan just signed a new deal with Spotify. $250 million, non-exclusive. Very That's, exciting. Uh, we talked about the fucking Smartless thing the other day, Very dude. That's non-exclusive, too. Um, how are they getting this much goddamn money? That's a lot, dude. Well, for, for Rogan, you, you've noticed that Sirius is trying to play this game now, too, right? They are. Uh, Spotify has collected all the users they're going to get from Rogan coming over, so there's no point in having exclusivity anymore. It's all about selling advertising now. Ah, gotcha, gotcha, But, but gotcha, for gotcha. Sirius, that's, that's a head-scratcher to bring over talent that's not exclusive because their biggest talent is Howard Stern, and he is definitely exclusive. Well, they are going to book um, all their ads. So it's mm. the same deal with Sirius for Smartless. So I guess it makes sense. God, there's another show with a back catalog that's that's uh, pretty deep as well. Judge I mean, Judy. Top 40 for eight years in a row. They mm. could pick ours off for that kind of money. Jesus Christ, dude. 250 Good yeah. for him, dude. That's great, man. My God. Uh, do you, you go to the mothership? Next. I hope so. Uh, do you guys go to the mothership at all? I was there last night. I performed there for the first time ever on uh, Thursday. How was it? Amazing, dude. That's he, what everybody says. Everybody says it's amazing. Made, uh, he's made a real... Masterpiece. Mm. I mean, it's literally everything you'd want. It's beautiful in there, right? The, here's the hard part. Or, or here's the here's the thing. Sounds good. Mm -hmm. The the audiences are great. The audiences are also they they're like they know what to expect. 
You're not just wandering into the mother mothership and going, well, this better be appropriate. Like, you know what you're signing up for. You know, like, you know, like, hey, you're going to hear some shit. These are the best comics in the world, but they're also, you know, open-minded and whatever. So anyways, they've literally thought of every detail. The hard part about the mothership for as a comic is getting into it yeah because that's it's the best and it's like these there's a lot of comics and everybody wants in it's a that's the real puzzle is like how you get into this place literally i walked in there and it was like an fbi you know like we need an escort for jeff die and then there's security and a marine guy and i'm going to this, just to get up to the green room to hang out with joe yeah. very like very very um Interesting. The other, because the other part about it is, uh, you know, we live here, so Dan and I have <laughs> local comic friends yeah. who, who bitch about it, right? They're yeah. Like, Man, I can't get into the fucking money. Yeah, you can't even hang I out. Can't, there. I can't get, I can't get on stage there or whatever. And then you go and see their shows, and they're like, "Well, there's a reason for that." Yes. Yeah, there's a yeah. reason you're not there. <laughs> well, but also just, yeah, it's just a tough. You know, it became this new little thing. It's like a little club. Mm. You know. I enjoy it though. I yeah, love. I'll never go. What, really? Really? I mean, I love Joe, and I love well, we've already seen the comics to go We've already through. seen yeah, 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 But yeah. I, I carry a gun everywhere I go, and I don't go places where you can't carry one. They won't let you bring it in there? Mm, what no. about other comedy shows? They, they let you bring it in a there? A lot of places do, yeah. 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 I always, always check in advance. Okay, so let me ask you about that, and not to change the subject, because mm. I love Mothership. Oh, I we don't give a fuck, guys. Yeah, yeah. Also, I'm, Joe's I'm, been real good to me. Yeah, this announcement, my, my episode of Rogan just came out today. Mm. Oh, really? And uh, yeah, they, We they, love him, by the way. My episode's on today. We're friends with Jamie in real life. Oh, nice. Yeah, yeah. Jamie's awesome. Yeah. And, um, Did you see the puppy? And that, yeah, Carl. Carl. And knows. the announcement came out today, which makes him trending number one. So that's just like more coincidental traffic for my episode, which is really, Sweet. really exciting. Yeah. Yeah. That's awesome. Yeah, he's he's the best. Yeah, love that dude. So it's, not, it's definitely not because of him or anything he does. But I and I understand why you would have a rule like that on Sixth Street in Austin too, right? Yeah, and also Joe's one of the most. Uh, he he's got to think of his safety. Yeah, no, of so course, yeah. Joe. Like, dude, the dude's like he's yep. pretty. Famous. That's yeah. just Dan, though. I like, just don't go. You to don't understand. Like we went to North Carolina. What was it? Uh, four weeks ago, five weeks ago, something like that. It was like three months ago. Was Ross. it really? You, you were just like in a time dilation God. that's warped all to hell. And we back. live so, in the studio, and I never do it. But he'll check his gun when we get on the plane, yeah. and so then we'll, we'll wait for it afterward. He'll take it everywhere. Mm -hmm. I know, but here's the thing: I'd like to just. I'm, I'm curious about it. What is it? What? Is it, why? Because I'm a goddamn gunfighter, man. I, mean, I love guns. What, what's what's more useless than a, a gunfighter without a gun? Yeah, I you heard know? you say that earlier about it being loaded. But here's the thing: like in the old days, cowboys, you know, when mm -hmm. they would go to a saloon, that you got to check your guns. It was the way you'd check, like even your coat. Like, but when you'd go into the saloon, they're like, we can't have a fucking five, you know, fifty gunslingers in here and mm -hmm. all with their pistols. <laughs> there was an actual little place that you would put you'd put your guns, mm -hmm. yeah, and then you go have your whiskey with the boys. That's kind of you could just do that at the mothership. You say, all right, sure, here's, yeah, I'll but check you didn't my, have... here's my gun, and then I'm gonna watch some comedy, and when I get out, I'll get my gun. You didn't, really, take the gun? you didn't really have mass shootings back then either. Did they take the gun when you go in there? So has there to been people? To, yeah, check oh, out. Oh no, know. they would not do that. That's a liability issue. Nobody oh. would do that. Gotcha. Maybe if they were there were lockers or something, you could check it into. But that would be. Would you do that if they offered that service that they hold you? No, down? really, still I don't, wouldn't do yeah, it. No, I mean it's like uh, I would. It, and the reason I carried my rifle with me around town and stuff, it's like I would. I feel like if you have the ability to do the stuff that people like me can do. And you got a responsibility to be ready to do it all the time. Yeah, you know yeah. I mean? I take it seriously. So I love that. Like if there was, if I, I heard, like that you have a gun all the time. I'm just, mm. I like, I know cowboys used to, you know, they would fucking put their gun down. Sure, yeah, but that was before mass shootings and shit, right? So if like there's, if I hear on the news that there's a shooting at a school somewhere, you know, cops have shown us recently you can't necessarily depend on them to do anything. Yeah. And it would be a shame if I couldn't get down there and pick off a couple of those kids myself. You yeah. know what I mean? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, Tim like Kennedy is the same way, a uh, buddy of ours uh, as well, where it's just like, hey, I'm not going. So for me, though, I get to go wherever I want because let's face it, I'm not taking the goddamn shot, right? Yeah, so it's yeah, him. Yeah, of course. And then I'm like, all right, we cool, We need man. guys like this guy. I can enjoy my life. I just love a guy that goes, I'm not going to go listen to some fucking jokes if I can't be <laughs> strapped. <laughs> Let's face it, there's a yeah. lot of comedians you love to blow away. Oh, man. Jesus no, no, Christ. No, no, no. Uh, I'd kill some myself. <laughs> <laughs> like, that, that shot came from side stage. It was <laughs> like, it's a real uh, someone in the crowd, probably. Well, it came from the headline. John Wilkes Booth was an actor. So. <laughs> he really was. Yeah, yeah. He yeah. really was. It worked out for him, though. 
Yeah, he did all right. Yeah. He broke his ankle in the fall, but, but I, mean, I thought Lincoln mission accomplished. Was, oh, it was, yeah. He yeah. broke both of his legs, yeah. right? Yeah. yeah, mission accomplished. And then got on a horse. How'd that happen? Hey, look, man. That story's got some holes in it. <laughs> <laughs> this dude falls from a balcony, breaks both his legs, gets on a horse, rides away. And he uh-huh. yells. He has the the presence of mind to yell six ember Tyrannus when he hits <laughs> yeah. the ground. They, they knew exactly what he said. Yeah. yeah. Relax. Bro. Well, here's the crazy thing. I, I'm, you know, six foot four. I'm pretty athletic. It's hard to get on a horse. Really is. Dude did it with two broken legs. I know. It's pretty cool. Yeah, I'm, I'm kissing six four. I'm about six three yeah. and a half up there. And get on a uh, horse. Get is on hard. a horse is tough, dude. And then we have saddles now. Do they have saddles then? Uh yeah, saddles have existed for a long time. I didn't know. Yeah. Yeah. But, real, real question. Yeah. yeah, three or four hundred years, maybe longer, but who who's counting? Well, I was just you don't even know what it. fucking day it is, so saddles, not necessary. Saddles a long time, stirrups are a relatively new. Stirrups are new, yeah. yeah. Is that the little foot part? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, so yeah, I'm right. Is. So that would mm-hmm. be hard. It could be harder. Yeah. It could be harder. I yeah. mean, you just got to get like a little one of those little trampolines. <laughs> yeah, he's got that set up out oh, there. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> They're like, you know, that he was booth, really prepared, that man. That booth guy bought one ticket. <laughs> <laughs> but even stranger, there's a little trampoline out here. Do you get FOMO? Do you get FOMO? Do you wish you were there? <laughs> yeah, oh, dude, I love the old times. So do I. I know as a, we're not supposed to look at history this way. It's very insensitive. But I've, I've talked about it all the time. Like, if I was alive 200 years ago, I'd be, at the, I'd be the man, dude. Yeah. I'm meant for those times. <laughs> <laughs> Look at me, dude. Six foot four, I got I'm good teeth. I'm not meant for those times. I'm not meant for those. I know the time that I'm meant for. Yeah, I, I would do. just walk in. They look at me in the back. 70s. I think that guy's our leader now. I think. Seventies. That was my times, yeah. and that, that's what I was meant for. 70s. I don't like. I, I'm being serious. I've thought about this. I don't like technology. Uh, this fucking goddamn thing never works. The iPhone's yeah. a piece of shit. Yeah. I don't need any of that. Uh, I don't need anybody calling me uh, re- in regards to like my kids and things yeah. like that. Like they're all fine. Everybody's fine. They're gonna figure it the fuck out. Uh, the music was the best. Uh, the drugs the were 70s? starting to get good. Yeah, music? Zeppelin? Yeah, I mean, you would everybody back The only then. problem... Stones in their heights? There was no, he- there was no, no hip-hop Google back dolls, then. <laughs> no 311. There are no Goo Goo Dolls. <laughs> <laughs> but that was the time for me where I was just like, all right, cool, I like the clothes. Mm, I like the no mustaches. Well, sort the of. Clothes. There was always a fog hat that kind of showed up, and you yeah. were like, oh, all right, well, this is my creed for the, the week or whatever it is. Uh, I do. I like the fucking boots, all the weird okay. shit. Cocaine yeah. started getting bigger really then. Popping, yeah. Like that it was, was cheap too. Yeah, dude. Acid was still real. Sure was. Uh, blacks were starting to play basketball. It was great. Well, they're starting. They had started. Well, I mean, really starting. Yeah. Like they were being Dr. J. A, they were allowed yeah. to, is what you're trying Wilt. to say. I, yeah. I didn't say that. It's Black History Month, Dan. I wouldn't say that, okay? It's not Black History Month. It sure is. No, I refuse to accept that. Do you think there should oh, be a white one? It's gay month. Yeah. No, Wait, isn't May Gay Month? Oh, I think I when, when's Pride? When's June, Pride? Maybe when's Pride Month? I believe that's June. Pride is okay. Good. He would fucking know. Yeah. Oh Theater shit! Kid. That's when Juneteenth is though. What if you're black and gay on Juneteenth? Then you fucking get well, to rob for free. Get, well, I guess in you California. Day off you twice. Do it. Yeah. <laughs> do you guys have any water I could grab? I chug this. Yeah. Uh, grab him a water Thanks, real quick. Buddy. I wanted to ask you about my AIDS uh, medications making my mouth. It a sure does, dry. dude. That's fucking AIDS. It'll dry out your mouth. I wanted to ask you about Field of Dreams. Yeah. Uh, you were pointing that out before we got in here. Um, you said you had a fucking crazy Field of Dreams story. Well, I did the. Thank you. I did the 25th anniversary before they built that big stadium. You know, like I was just, it's just like a, the real movie field. Sure. That you could still play on. If you drive there, you can, at any time of the day or night, you can drive up to that field and play on. I went. It was it's great. always open. You yeah. can do that. I bring my dad. So it was like 2014 then, right? Um, if it was in 89, that sounds right. Yeah. I, mean, I thought it was more 2015, but maybe yeah, it was. Yeah, it's fine. Um, it was really, really fun. We had a good time. Kevin Costner was there. It was a really just cool thing. And I thought, I'll bring my dad. Yeah. You know, because it's the have a catch on have the field. That's the dad. whole thing. And I loved that movie as a kid. I'm a big baseball guy. I bring my dad, but my dad, I don't know what he thought this weekend was going to be. He doesn't travel a lot, you mm. know? He didn't bring any clothes to change into. He was just, it's like hot. It's Iowa. Yeah. And it's the summer or whatever. And so it's like, you know, very, very hot. And he's wearing like these blue jeans and like a black hooded sweatshirt, just sweating everywhere. And he's got nothing to change. So it's just, you know, that's not good. And he's like, my dad just will start these random conversations with people. He was complaining that the hot dogs cost too much. They were like a dollar fifty or something. <laughs> he's like, you believe that? That's Costco level. He's, <laughs> he imagine saying that to Kevin Costner. Can you yeah. believe how expensive these hot dogs are? <laughs> he's going, no. What if Costner said yes? And he's <laughs> yeah, like, yeah. like, this is bullshit, man. I'm on your side. Yeah. People kept going, who's that guy over there? And I was like, that's my dad. Like, like the people like were commenting yeah. about him. And then I had to be like, yeah. It's a thing. Who is all in the thing? Did you guys play a game? 
Yeah, we played a, a big like game. Um, it celebrity was, softball. Yeah, celebrity softball. Celebrity, real loose term, but it was like, uh, like I said, Kevin Costner was there. That's easily the biggest. Sure. Um, Bob Costas, who walked around like he owned the joint. I didn't really like that. He does. Got this a real is post, ego. Post pink eye post at the pink Olympics. Eye, yeah. Bob yeah. Costas too. I think I figured that would bring him down a peg or two. So did I. So he was still an asshole, huh? I didn't know that he had pink eye. What's that story? At the, sure so, did. Uh, the not Sochi. What, which Russian Olympics was that? Where the wolves were walking That's through the Sochi. gut? Yeah, it was, was Sochi. Sochi. Yeah, yeah. 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 Uh, he decided to get uh, some fun little plastic surgery mm. and uh, leaked into his eyes and mm. uh, caused some. He had actually missed uh, two or three nights of the telecast. Oh, really? Do you remember so that bad. Winter Olympics in Russia where they were like. I don't watch any Olympics. There, there were wolves. Oh, pull it up. Well, where, I, I never watched the Winter They were especially. comparing him to the Terminator because yeah. his eye was so bad. But Bob, pull up Bob Costas Terminator, and then there was a shit ton of memes about They kind of rebuilt the town two months prior mm. and there were manhole covers missing and there were wolves literal oh wolves like God. walking through the fucking hotels that makes yeah. it sound cooler actually. fuck yeah it does look at this asshole well oh, if you yeah. won that means you really braved all the elements and won here so here's how bad it got Ugh. and then eventually they did take him off air he looks like Stuart Scott so what happened was he got Botox and then it, it went down it drooped down, and he got the Stuart Scott eye. Yeah. R.I.P. to him. Yeah. Uh, but Costas was an asshole, huh? That one hurts. Well, yeah. I mean, I mean, I barely saw him, but yeah, he was kind of smug and like he acted like he was super, super famous. Or Isn't he kind of tiny? Yeah, he's, he's small. I don't man. like tiny people. Freak me out, man. Me too. I gotta be honest. Me too. I don't like it. I'm like, where's the rest of you, guy? Yeah. What happened to you? Where's Fuck. the rest of you? Yeah. Guy? Go buy a fucking growth spurt Great at the guy. at the hot dog stand. Yeah. It's we're, it's 2024. Asshole. Sure is. Uh, who else was there? Um, I was trying to think of the Bob Costas. I just I don't remember what I was gonna say about him. Anyways, so then uh, just people from the movie, the directors, the actors, Dwyer Brown. Yeah. Uh, DB Sweeney. I love DB Sweeney. Me too. He was in Fire in the Sky. You ever seen this movie? Still friends with him on Facebook. You like the seventies? Yeah, oh, big fan. Fire in the Sky. Love. I love Fire in the Sky. I think it's the scariest movie that's old. I, I got to go Exorcist. You can if I'm still going play old, it. Exorcist, original. Oh, yeah, that's still And then Poltergeist, Poltergeist yeah. still, that's onesie twosie for me. Well, you can play those movies still, and they're so scary. Yes. Yeah. I watched, because uh, we're in Texas, obviously, and everybody comes and sees the, the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station. That's so, here? It's here. So cool. the, the last guy that was in the one of our listeners, we leave the doors open for our listeners to come and watch, booze up and everything. And he was like, dude, I just went to the Texas Chainsaw Massacre gas station. It was fucking awesome. Yeah. And I was like, yeah, man, it's still, that movie still felt real when I watched it. They they made, they remade it a million times, right? Yeah, not as it, good. Uh, well, even the, the, there's like a new one. And they, they did all the Hollywood woke stuff where the, they make sure the cast is diverse. And all this, but it still rules. Really? It's I didn't see good. it. I very rarely would be would say that, and it's still very, very good. If the movie poster looks like a JUCO brochure for you know yeah. the happy yeah. community college, yeah. I, I can't do it that, anymore. It, but he's murdering them all. He is. But I want to see like <laughs> that's the, a, that's the diversity that matters. It is as like, long as everybody gets yeah, it's yeah. murdered and raped, yeah. obviously. Uh, I don't mind it. Just keep it in the same race. I watched uh, that Dev Patel trailer the other day. Well, that would be the most accurate because 83 to 88% of murders, depending on which race it is, are committed by the same race, right? Really? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Okay. Well, that's how cultures work. Yeah. You're generally, closer to people that look like you. Well, but. generally, like, you know, Hawaiians hang out with Hawaiians. Mm, that's true. They don't like Hawaiians. That's yeah. what's the point of a culture. Yeah. So that's the whole idea. You wouldn't go to, like, the, you know, a black family and be like, you know, your family reunion wasn't very diverse. <laughs> you might not. That's their, it's their family. I hadn't considered it's doing it until now, but. Yeah. <laughs> depends it just how makes rich no they are. Sense. Thanksgiving's like, going to be weird. It's the whole this year. point of cultures. If it's you had like, one NBA player, though, in the family, uh, the wife's cool. going to be white. That is true. So that's going to fuck up the whole chain. <laughs> that is true. And there's nothing you could do about uh, that. Yeah, well, that's probably better off than like what Dwayne Wade did, which is marry a crazy Hollywood person and then cut his kid's dick that's off. That's right, dude. Yeah, shit. Dwayne Wade is an interesting What a fucking one. cunt he is. Man, what a weird story that, mm. that whole thing has turned out to be. That's going to be a cautionary tale later on. Um, he was just inducted into, I think it was the Heat Hall of Fame the other day. They should make the real house daughters of Hollywood, you know? Oh, well, they did. And it'll be and like Jane, Dwayne Wade's Jane daughter. Smith. Jaden Smith. Because he's pretty much. Magic, jo Magic, Magic Johnson's, Johnson's <laughs> daughter. Yeah. I haven't seen that one. Just them all living in a house. Chaz like, Bono. It's yeah, a right? dude. So the dude is, I mean, that's the, yeah. that was the craziest one for me was the Magic Johnson. I don't understand Johnson. how you can be an alpha, and I, I guess he's not. Physically, maybe. He's an elite, right? Dwayne Wade. Yeah. But how does that, oh, like he's how? No, he's no alpha. No, certainly not. But like he, he has all the tools. He's just tall and athletic. Ah, he's not that tall. What is he, 6'3"? 6'3", yeah. yeah. 
Um, like he's only six three. Kissing yeah, six I think four. So, yeah. Kissing six four. People call me tall. I'm six four. <laughs> yeah. Um, he's tall. But like, man, to be and to be an athlete like that, it's just weird. Like you gotta, you there's gotta be some alpha in you to be competitive like that, right? Yeah. And then to, like your kids, like, oh, I'm a fucking girl now. Like, no, you're not, dude. I know. Well, Shut the fuck up. Maybe it's just a, p- a product of like growing up. Because maybe Dwayne Wade didn't grow up as rich as Dwayne Wade's kid grew up. You know, like, there's some product of that. Like, That's true. They're in this generation in a mansion. and they're, yeah. yeah. Like, Chris Paul's just coming and hanging out at their house casually. Like, you, like as a kid, was, you must just be, like... He was poor in Chicago, and then he made it, yeah. and then your, your kids don't have to do shit. Yeah. And that's, like, the biggest fear, I guess. Your dad's Magic Johnson. You know what I'm saying? Like, like I mean, like, you're going to have some problems, I think. Yeah, are there any rich people's kids that turn out normal? Mm, here and there. Well, rich is, yeah, but like rich and famous kids. Rich and super famous. Because uh, they were talking about Bronny today. I don't know if you guys saw that. Uh, LeBron James. Yeah, kid. they announced he's going to go undrafted. Like, uh, yeah. No he's shit. He's averaging said fucking that three years. points a game at, at USC, which is not even a basketball player. But I said it years ago where I was like, I know the high school he's going to. It's all white. It's a private school in Santa Monica. You're playing the worst talent there is. Yeah, he's going to score 40 a game there. Wait till he gets to college. And now they're like, oh, he's going to go undrafted. No shit. Yeah. Um, and then what do you do then? Because your name is LeBron James Jr. And then you suck. Didn't Michael Jordan's kid name him Michael Jordan Jr. too? Uh, yeah. Yeah. And then. And then uh, no. His kids' names are Marcus. Marcus. And Marcus Jordan. Jordan that's yeah. it. And Jeffrey. And they went that's to right. uh, UCF. Right? They went to my Jordan, school. Yeah, like UCF. That. Yeah. And they so never turned out to be anything. And uh, LeBron. Well, well Jeffrey's his did. middle name, and it's his dad's middle name, too. That's the thing about Bronny. It's like. You know, I wish someone could hold him and go, hey, buddy, you know you don't have to play basketball. Mm. There's a billion ways to make money. No. Or you can just spend We don't need you to play dollars. basketball. Yeah. Fighting for dad's attention at that point. You, Couldn't, play basketball. you know what you should do is take LeBron's short agent out to lunch and go, hey, I think I'll just do what you do. Can I do what you do? Well, the, the short agent is uh, his best an friend. player yeah. yeah, from the Fab Five or whatever. For, or not the no, f- no, it's his actual LeBron James' uh, agent is Rich Paul, his best friend from uh, childhood. Yeah, but they were on the, like a Fab Five of their high school. Oh, so yeah, yeah, like, yeah. He was like on the team. He's a well, short they were there. They were there. Well, in their high school, <laughs> LeBron I guess was they were doing the good, heavy right? lifting. <laughs> yeah, I believe that. But weren't they like? I mean, they were. They won state. Yeah. They won state. Yeah, he was on the team. He was. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> He's averaging like thirty-five minutes a game right now. Ooh. LeBron is. LeBron at thirty-nine oh, yeah. years old. He's, still he's so good, games. dude. It's ridiculous. He's so good. People I, talk I so much to. trash. No, well, I it's because he's the most good. insecure turd of all time. Well, no, I think he's a dope. Like when he mm. talks about politics, he has no idea what he's talking about. He always reads that the makes first page kind of, the book. of sense. He's been famous forever. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And he didn't graduate high school or nothing. He, of course, he's dumb. Yeah, yeah. He's no idea to think about. He's like, we like playing in China. He's like, you fucking moron. Here's here's the biggest thing about these guys. <laughs> They'll say like stuff about like systematic race. Racism mm. and like a, it's like you know how dumb you have to be to pretend to care about slavery you didn't go through while you are dripping in Nike and have an have an iPhone you, you oh so you don't care about sl- that slavery you dumb <laughs> moron well there's 1400 active Uyghur concentration camps in China right now 1400 it, camps he, not people he doesn't camps. know about it at all well he knows. He knows. There's no way he doesn't know. Then, if he reads his Twitter comments, he knows, because I've been saying that to him for 10 years. He's either a liar <laughs> or an idiot, and I choose to believe he's an idiot. It's probably a combo. Yeah. Right? He wants that Chinese money, though, too. That's what it is. Yeah. 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 Do you, have you noticed on the Chinese money, all the eyes, they're not round? That's true. They're slanted. They're weird as hell, man. They're slanted, dude. Well, but here's the thing. The... Um, you know, you said it's all about like the money, right? Mm-hmm. Like, and you go, well, yeah, of course. But here's the thing: is like, I also think it's partially like them going, "Hey, when you, can you go out there and talk about this?" Like, it's, he's like, he's bought. Yeah. You know, there's this, this like, you were gonna go read this. We'd want to don't lo- want to mm. lose this deal in China. Oh. We want LeBron. You're LeBron James. So you mean like American politicians starting wars? I think Same they, they buy concept, we right? buy celebrities, you know, yeah. like you buy a guy and you say you're going to say all these things yeah. like, to fit this narrative. Like we need to send two hundred billion dollars to Ukraine, for example. That's, right. that's one thing you would get someone to say. Yeah, you know, if you were so inclined, if you to wanted that, to, yeah. uh, you can you can buy anybody these days. But lights buying up everybody, uh, Pfizer's buying up everybody. I, I, everybody I, can be. I bought. still I still don't understand why. So like I talked a lot of shit because it's funny. But I really don't understand why people are so butthurt about that Bud Light thing. It was one dumbass What about Dylan Mulvaney? Yeah, it's like one dumbass employee. And I understand, like, 
pretending like transgender is even real to me is just I don't pay any attention to anybody yeah. that even acknowledges that. Like, no, you're a dude, shut the fuck up. Like, mm -hmm. do whatever you want. It's fine. I'm not nobody's gonna hurt you when I'm around. Fuck that, right? Yeah. Do what you want. Stay away from kids and uh don't demand at gunpoint that I participate in your fucking delusion. Yeah. That's pretty simple. But I think that's what people a, felt like is like, oh, if I drink from sure. this this product now and now it's even getting into my beer. Yeah, I guess maybe it's yeah. fatigue to some degree. Yeah, they don't want anything. But like, like saying, like, I'm never drinking. If you were actually a Bud Light drinker, which most Mexicans are, right? Uh, that I know, anyways. So are like, they? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Modelo is kind mm. of the go to for the guys that work yeah, for that, that's, me. That's what white people who hang around Mexicans drink. Dos Equis. Hey, Dos Equis, man. You got a blast. Uh, you got a blast this fool or what, Holmes? But yeah, it's By like. By the way, come up and grab some hard AF seltzers out of here and party if you want to. I don't know why people are, were so butthurt about that. People gave. Uh, uh, well, people gave Dana White the business because he's full of shit. He was like, they're so much more closely aligned with you. And like, no, they're not. It's no, they're ABM not. Bev, dude. Get the fuck out of here. They're not politically I aligned with anybody. I think businesses are learning. Oh, yeah. Victoria's Secret learned. They got fucking hot girls. Sports Illustrated just learns. Yeah. Uh, with Bud Light, though, I it's... Don't to explain it. So uh, sports used to be sports. You would just watch sports. Two fucking teams playing basketball, and you watch it. Mm -hmm. You gamble on it with your with your bookie and your friends, and you, you drink beer, and that's it. There was no end racism in the end zones. <laughs> yeah. There was no, uh, you know, helmets that had little decals on it that said, stop, don't shoot. Stop or, hate. Oh, I can't breathe. None yeah. of this bullshit. Yeah. And you think, who cares? Just watch your fucking football. And you go, I, I want to. I'd like to watch football without this. But they've learned to leak it in. Just leak it in enough where the things... And so I think that the Bud Light thing is just like another example of that. Like, even my beer yeah. is... is it's, it's, it, they're fatigued, and mm. they're annoyed, and you're going, man, you found a way to even politicize my sports, but it isn't even equally political. It isn't like half of the football players have things that say, make America great again, and mm. the other half say, you know... Stop, well, Cole Beasley shoot. would have if... If they'd let them. If they'd let them. But now you can't. They gave you a so, list of seven things you could put on your but own. Thing, so yeah. if you want to be political, you have to be this type of political. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. And that seems like ridiculous. And most people are just going, stay the fuck out of our mm. sports. And the other half are, are you know, are, are, are just fed up. Mm. I haven't seen too many people giving Gillis heat about this, though. Well, he always drank he, it. Gillis isn't political. Yeah, yeah, and he always drank it, Well, too. he talks shit about everybody. Yeah. So it'll be interesting to see if he continues. But he always drank it, and, I, and uh, that was his thing and, mm -hmm. and everything else. So that I understand. Yeah, but if they, he puts out another special out where he pulls those. punches on some of that stuff, then... That's going to be a problem. No, they probably people. gave him this as an overcorrection to the thing. Uh, oh, probably. They, they, they've Which, offered it to us, too. They've offered it to everybody. Yeah. Um, so all your favorite comedians and, and podcast hosts and all that shit will have it. Uh, for me personally, I would have been fine. Just apologize. Hey, look, we all, everybody makes mistakes. Oh, just yeah, apologize. just say, yeah, who, you know. Oh, shit, they got say, hey, man, we fucked yeah. up and whatever, and then fine, it could have moved on. Did you hear my idea on it? Uh-uh. Mm. I was like, nobody would have cared if you just put it on that Bud Light seltzer can. <laughs> yeah. Nobody would have seen it. If shit. Dylan Mulvaney was on the Bud Light seltzer, you'd be like, yeah, of course, that's that fruity-ass fucking <laughs> Bud Light. That's not... They wouldn't have cared. But you put it on the blue one. The blue one. And they're going, hey, what are you doing? Think... Those were gang colors. You had yeah. red and blue, yeah. and everybody knew what it was. And you go, yeah, it makes sense. That's a seltzer. Yeah, now you're trying to fucking buy That one's identifying as a beer, but it's. <laughs> they need to bring Randy Quaid in for Bud Heavies or something, somebody like that, cool. right? Or 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 one of these people that have gone full MAGA. They'll never do it. Well, I think what They'll they thought. Never do it. I think what Bud Light thought was like, what's a group we're not getting? Maybe some like woke people don't drink Bud Light. We've already got that group. They thought of it like the way politi politicians won't go into certain states. Mm. They're like, oh, we don't need to go into Texas. We, we've got Texas. So let's do the campaign trail on the towns we need to convince. I think that's what Bud Light thought. Maybe. Oh, we've got all them. Let's get the people we don't have. But then you thought they didn't realize, oh, we can lose the people we yeah. have by doing this. Yeah, they did it smart. Well, Paps Blue Ribbon, PBR, did it smarter. Yeah. Back in the early 2000s, they just targeted hipsters. Oh, yeah, yeah. But it oh, wasn't, yeah. it like didn't offend any of the old people yeah. the way they targeted that particular group. I'm sure there was a more elegant solution than putting some dumb, woke, middle aged white lady yeah. in charge of your marketing. Well, department. even old English, uh, there was hotels all along Sunset Strip in Los Angeles back in the 2000s where you could order it in a paper bag right off the menu mm. and they would bring it to you. They would bring you a 40 of old English in a paper bag. Oh, yeah. And they would charge you $38 for I, it. I, standard, lived, I lived in Oakland at the time and it was like curly mustaches and, and fucking 
dudes wearing like neck tattoos, neck tattoos, and yeah. like German climbing outfits. Yeah. Like what all the, the fuck chicks, are you wearing? All dude? the chicks are dressed like Cam Newton for some reason. <laughs> uh, I think I got to the bottom of why this guy's carrying a loaded gun around. Why is that? He lived in Oakland. Uh, oh, yeah. Well, I was in the military first, but also uh, no. But Oakland's probably worse, I lived right? in I lived in Piedmont, which is kind of like Oakland. It's on the top of a hill overlooking Oakland. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. So, I, I mean, I saw a lot of crime. Oh, yeah. I just didn't experience <laughs> much. Tell you, Oakland's rough. <laughs> Piedmont, this is Piedmont. It's like right up in, it's in uptown Oakland, kind of on the, uh, the east side of it. And it's up on a hill, and they got fed up with Oakland, so they raised a bunch of money from the locals and started their own police department. Yeah, that makes sense. Yeah. Oakland is a whole different... I've yeah. been Baltimore, Philly. I've been all these places, and <clears throat> Oakland by far is the one that I felt nervous just being in traffic. It's not great, yeah. yeah. Up, up on that hill, though, did you ever think about just picking people off up there and no one would know? Kind of like that set. Remember that, that guy in Washington who was sniping people from the back of the fucking trunk? He's like, why do you... You know the answer to this question. I, that's all I think about now. I mean, <laughs> but not once about? did you go out and do it. No, I'm not really? gonna. I don't like. Well, I'm not killing random people. Being able to kill without joy is a responsibility. You understand? But let's say you saw somebody grabbing a purse, right? And it was just like, oh, struggle, scream, <clears throat> and then you, you've got them right there. Maybe. Too. I mean, part of me does want to go back to 19, 19th century laws where there were more. Uh, crimes punishable by death like i feel like we need to overcorrect a little bit for a while and the same we need to shut down immigration for 10 or 15 years yeah and uh, at least from non-white countries and i mean that seriously i'm not fucking around um <laughs> uh because we're not having a whole lot of problems with canadians in the u.s fucking no around. Wow, no. you've been to Shit, canada you know I mean? canada sucks it does yeah no, no, i wouldn't on... be if they came over though oh, we would it. It, we're the arms wide yeah. open yeah we'll, yeah, we'll do a one sucks. for one exchange yeah. one canadian will send our somalis up there and exactly they, they fucking anyways um, I don't even know what I was talking about. Now I'm just feeling racist. Sorry. No, that's fine. Keep you going, dude. You're talking about these roll. laws. You want to go back to the Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, we definitely need to shut down immigration. And then I think the second thing that we need to do is to start punishing crimes with the death penalty more. Like, like it, if you're a serial offender, if you're victimizing other people, you're dead. Fuck sure, you. Yeah, yeah. Uh, and then pedophilia should always be a first-time offense. You're dead. Yeah. Like, just fucking carve that motherfucker up right, right. In, right in the public. Um, I don't understand why we can't all agree on that. I felt like yeah, it that seems like everyone should agree on that. Yeah, but the, if you go on the internet, there are like legit doctors trying to make the case to mutilate kids' genitals. Like, oh, you're, yeah, I know. It's it's this false premise of would you rather have a trans kid or a dead kid, mm -hmm. right? It's like I would rather you be dead, actually. It's, it's all cash. Mm -hmm. It's so cash. These doctors go, I don't know. I'll do it. How much? You know? Is there a celebrity dick you want? What do you mean? Just well, kind of at your house, like in a jar. Oh, uh, Kevin Costner's would be nice when there. he goes. Oh, yeah. Because he's, he's got, got a, a hog, hog on, on him. Yeah. 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 No, he, he's, I haven't thought about this. He's, really? tried to, he's tried to wedge his hog into, like, eight, what, nine movies, I think, now? Nine. It's been, cut out of, it it's been cut out of eight movies so I far guess I'd want day. Whoopi Goldberg's cock. Oh, boy. Oh. I want her tit. Like, a, a, a Goldberg tit would be sweet. Um, if you had that, I don't know. She, if you take those clothes off, she probably looks like Jabba the Hutt. It's just a tit. I think it's just an. I don't want the rest of the body. I just want point. a tit. Well, I mean, right it wouldn't there. be a tit. It would just be the nipple, maybe. I want the whole tit. She's got the tit that looks like a fucking like uh, Billy Bob from fucking uh, what's that stupid goddamn movie with uh, Vanderbeek? Oh Paul shit! Walker. Uh, one of the greatest movies of all time, Varsity Blues. Varsity Blues. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. She's got a, a fat boy tit. Not a not a lady. Not a tip. good one. Yeah. You know, look, it de it depends what you're into. Like the amateur shit is where I live. So like a tit like that, where you're like, all right, that's a realistic tit from a trailer park yeah. or something like that. You'd want mm. whoopies though, huh? Exactly. Okay. Well, I mean, I'm just I would take it. Yeah. It's not on my. It's not the, like the top. I don't of my think list. I'd collect any human stuff like this. You know. Really? Yeah. Well, well I mean, at the Tool concert and recently they were selling a fetus, I guess, in yeah. a jar. Yeah. For a few thousand, I thought that was interesting merch. Uh, it's great well, merch. I'm sorry, there. what? Yeah, they sold yeah. it. Yeah, pull that up, Bob. Pull up the fetus from the Tool concert. And what's the what's the purpose of that? Why uh, wait? Before we move on to that, concert. why is Stone Cold Steve Austin on the fucking thing? Uh, I was trying. To, sometimes he would slam Budweisers, and I was trying to find a picture mm, of that for your who, who Budweiser should get. But I didn't want to. go down Yeah, there. I look. I He's, wish he they slammed were. Bud Heavies. I thought it was Coors. Back in the day. Sometimes I thought he was a Coors I guy. I thought he was a Silver Bullet Blast. Yeah, yeah. it might have been. He might have been. Uh, pull up the fetus there from the tool. And it's in a skull? No. Oh, it is in a skull. Yeah, yeah look yeah, at that. The fetus God. is in the skull. Look at that, dude. Yeah, actually, it looks a lot cooler than I thought. Yeah, that's kind of cool, but is that a real fetus? And no, sure is. no, it's not a real fetus. No, it is. Uh, really? Uh, Tina, 
Firestone from uh, Little Rock, Arkansas. That's her fetus, it says. Mm. 26 years old. So did she, she sign it? I just is, made that up. Do they have it's a... Really, uh, really believable. Yeah, I made that up. Uh, is, is there I don't a cer- know if she signed it. Is there or, a certificate or, of authenticity that comes with that? Could have Cer- been some blood. Yeah. Serialized. Yeah, some she blood on there. Well, you, you can check it if you want. On the umbi, on the umbilical cord. <laughs> yeah, that is don't, wild. don't tread on this. That actually is pretty fucking cool. What did that go for, Bob? I like the skull part. The fetus is weird, but it's it's not. If you think about your, that's where your they grow. Mind dude. Is always growing. Yeah. Oh shit! Is that right? Yeah. yeah your mind is always growing. That happened one time. That's the first thing you knew today. God yeah. Damn. <laughs> no, that happened one time. There's your first look. All right. How much is this fucking thing going for here, Bob? I'm looking for a price here because I want it. Oh, he Dean, said Dean, Dean said 2,500. 2500 that's, that's not that cheap. bad. Let's yeah. buy a fucking fetus, dude. Yeah, we'll yeah, get you one. Can put it, you got we'll stuff here on that's set? worth more yeah. than that. We sure yeah. do. We'll put it on set over How here. How much was the O.J. Simpson helmet that says... So that, a was a, that was a gift. Most 11, of this stuff was gifts, yards, actually. 27 stabbings. We have a wow. guy... Three allegedly. bodies. We'll shout him out. Scott Davidson from Burbiz, yeah. who's, uh, who's got a habit of buying us stuff, and then the people, the celebrities died two weeks later. Oh, interesting. So he got us that. What's his Ray name? Liotta died. Scott Davidson. Scott uh, Davidson. We want a fetus skull, buddy. Yeah. Can well, we this fetus, fetus is already skull? dead, so who dies? On the Drinking Bros wish list? Well, yeah, <laughs> on, our, on our Amazon wish list. It'd <laughs> yeah. be great. So he gave us the sign Ray Liotta. Ray Liotta died about 10 days later. I keep forgetting that he died. I know. And then the, the other one was uh, he gave us a sign Dwayne Haskins helmet. And then he got hit by that truck. Dwayne Haskins. Yeah, the quarterback for Washington. Uh, later on, the Pittsburgh Ohio State Steelers, guy. Ohio State. I don't know. He was up for the Heisman Trophy. And then he got hit. He got, he got smoked by a concrete truck, my man. Holy crap. Crossing a highway in Miami at 6 in the morning. Yeah, he was on some kind of drug. Yeah, like that the, checks out. The story, well, the story is that he, was, he had been drugged by this woman, and she was stealing his jewelry or some shit, right? Perhaps, yeah. Don't we don't know. really know. When I was in jail and detox, this homeless guy was like yelling all the shit at the cops, and he just got in. And the cops were like, well, you didn't want to talk to us when you were uh, in the middle of the freeway. <laughs> and I remember going, that eh, makes a lot of sense. I feel like so <laughs> cops need better training mm-hmm. bet- to shoot more. They need to learn jujitsu, be more athletic. But they also need better. I think you should teach them like a shit-talking class, too. That'd be cool. Because that's important. If we're going to keep getting cops on Fox yeah. moving forward, I want I don't want some fucking Yoko Hillbilly that goes, oh, yeah, oh, yeah, you're under arrest, buddy. No, I want him yeah. to get to roast the fuck out of that dude. It is well, weird how they have the, like the like the etiquette of a police officer is like polite. Mm. You know, it's like why does he have to be polite and they can just be popping off and acting like crazy? Well, it does say and protect and serve could... on the side of the car, I guess. Yeah. What do you mean? That's what they are protecting us from these fucking animals. Yeah. Oh yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they're serving their community by protecting us from these drunk idiots. You know, yeah. like like and but the drunk idiot gets to be like, motherfucker, you can't touch me, blah blah blah. And then the cop has to just be like, Man, I'm not gonna tell you again, you gotta you gotta calm down. No, he should be like, Fuck you. Don't talk to me like that. Like I, I feel like you should we, we need to bring back mutual combat laws. Now Texas has it. Montana has it, a couple of states. Yeah. But like if somebody's being a dick. Oh, wow. Yeah, Hulk, That's Hulk got the whole thing. It. That's the Hulk um, If somebody's being a dick and the cop's like, hey, you know what? You want to fucking go? We can fight right yeah, now. Exactly. You beat me, you, you can fucking go home. That'd be hilarious. I feel like that would be great. It'd be right? awesome. Yeah. Why, why are we not doing that? No idea. Uh, people are out there doing cool shit. They, they just sold fucking Pornhub, dude. Did you know that? A rabbi bought it. Today's the day, man. Today's the day. A lot they, of things happening. They, a, uh, rabbi, a rabbi, a Jewish attorney and rabbi are they just gonna, bought porn. Are they going to put their servers in those tunnels? <laughs> <laughs> Why would the rabbi buy porn? Up? Is he going to shut it down or something? And so it's a private equity firm, and they took over MindGeek, which is the whole umbrella company for every single porn site out there. Wow. If he fucking deletes that as a flex. That would be great. Holy shit. That would be awesome. Shit, That's dude. what I, I really wanted Elon Musk to buy Twitter. And, and delete fucking it. delete the whole thing. Yeah, yeah. It's like psh, I think fuck that you. the Elon buying twi- buying Twitter and changing it to X might have been like the biggest thing he could have done for this election that's coming up. Mm. He we'll might have see. saved the election. I'm I'm not sure here. Uh, well, we'll never know all the well, stuff that wasn't tweeted. Here, yeah, well, but yeah. here's the thing. Here's why is like I don't know about you. Do are you on Twitter a lot? I'm on it pretty often. Yeah. Yeah. So same here. I I'm still getting. People in my feed, Democrats and shit that I fucking hate. Well, over it's and mostly over and just over those two Gaylord Krasenstein brothers. No, it's, probably, right? it's it's JoJo from Jers, uh, whatever the fuck her well, name. Well, that's because you keep commenting negative shit on I, her. No, post. it's because it's in every time I open up my goddamn phone, it's her. I don't follow her. I don't follow mm-hmm. these people. You keep and then I hate tweet them. Yeah, but if you interact 
with them, then they show up in your feed more. It well, is the outrage finally, algorithm. That's I just how it works. fucking del- like I blocked it or deleted it or whatever the fuck it was, and uh, and I'm all good there. Well, he, like God, Elon is a real wrestling to, like, fan, not... right here, by the way. Oh yeah, it is. yeah, he's putting Hulk in the right position. There it is. Yeah, boom. <laughs> Give it to him. Three pumps. Um, here's the thing. I I uh, he didn't buy Twitter to like not let liberals tweet. No, I understand that. Yeah, I just don't want to see it. Like he's just saying, we can all now talk. But I thought the the hatred algorithm would be gone, where you're not seeing those. No, fucking that's people the algorithm. No. That'll always be the case. That is, that's but, it, it but isn't even just about hate. The same. If you comment positive shit on somebody's account, a lot will show up more. Really? Even if you don't follow them, yeah. All right. Maybe why, I'll why go would, to. Why would it not though? Why would Carl Weathers? Account? Why wouldn't they serve you content that you interact with more? That's kind of how it's supposed to work, isn't it? So I, I'm not stop sh- interacting with it. It's, but it's who I follow. That's all I like Instagram. Instagram keeps giving me suggestions and I have mm-hmm. to snooze it for 30 days where I'm like, I'm following the, the fucking people that I want to follow. Don't force me into your shit birds that, you know, yeah. I, I don't want well, believe it or not. People. Believe it or not. Social media wasn't created for fucking irritated Luddites. Who don't it want to participate be. in technology at all. Yeah, we're Dude, too old for it. I yeah. have my own friends. Like, yeah. I don't need your bullshit friends or your suggestions yeah. of friends. So call them. You don't know me. Just do a group FaceTime then. Stay off Twitter. Mark Zuckerberg doesn't fucking know me. So oh, don't he does. suggest your people to me. Mark Zuckerberg knows when you're going to buy your next fucking meal, buddy. Probably. Uh, but so he knows you more than your own wife does. The 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 latest celebrity to follow was like fucking uh, the guy who played Ross from Friends. And it was like... Jesus Christ, I don't give a fuck what David Schwimmer's doing. I, I don't give a baker's fuck what he's I doing. I didn't until you just mentioned him. What is he doing? I don't know. Uh, probably he still doing? grieving. He? He's grieving hard over uh, mm, Matthew I don't, Perry. I don't think so, man. I think, I think he's lived a productive life and uh, doesn't care about losers. Doesn't care about losers. Well, maybe. A guy I, dies knows? alone in a hot tub from fentanyl, that's a loser. <laughs> yeah, that's a sad man, for yeah. sure, yeah. It's not uh, great. All right, we'll go around the horn here. Carl Weathers obviously just died here yeah. before we get out of here. Favorite uh, Carl Weathers movie? Oh, it's got to be Predator. Shit, Predator's up there, dude. That's, that's trending. It, I didn't know there was a movie called Sasquatch that he was in. That might be my favorite. I love Bigfoot. It's not bad. But uh, is, is the movie. movie good? Yeah, yeah, it was in oh, Sundance. What's the premise? Uh, there, a bunch of people are, are heading to this town looking for Sasquatch, and somebody gets money if they can get them on camera. Oh, I like that. Yeah. And do they get a Sasquatch? Can't tell you. Okay. I don't want to spoil it for the audience because the movie came out 12 years ago. I want to see it. <laughs> I love Sasquatches. Uh, but Predator is such a good movie. Mm. They let a psychopath be in that movie. Yeah. You know the native guy? Oh, yeah. He was an actual crazy person. Yeah. No shit. He was a total criminal. Yeah, yeah. and like he had just gotten out, and mm. they're like, he'd be perfect. Look, he looks cool. And they're like, the guy doesn't act. They're like, I know, but look at him. And they just let him be. He had movie. like four lines, and they were all super <laughs> monotone. He wasn't looking at the camera or nothing. <laughs> he, was like, he was like, he was getting like, crazy local hire. Eyes. Yeah. yeah. He was yeah. a local hire. A lot of people are saying Arrested Development on Twitter right now. You, well, so the character he played on Arrested Development was so goddamn ridiculous. He was a grifter. Mm-hmm. But he was he was playing himself. He was Carl Weathers, and he was doing he was an acting coach. So uh, Tobias Funke's character, uh, David Cross, yeah, David Cross, uh, rather was was trying to become an actor, and he was paying homeboy like fucking thousands of dollars. He's like, uh, oh, that's too much money. I can't afford that. He goes, well, how much do you have? And he goes, oh, like three thousand bucks. He goes, that's exactly how much my acting class is cost. Uh, yeah, <laughs> then he, then there are all these weird like anecdotes. He was in a fucking restaurant. And he said, uh, oh, don't throw that. Like it was a chicken leg or something. He goes, don't throw that away. You throw that in a fucking uh, pot of boiling water, put it in a potato. You got yourself a stew going, buddy. It's like so fucking weird. He was just some total shitbag grifter. People loved it, dude. So, happy Gilmore's a big one. I know. Oh, so yeah. Happy Gilmore's on here. Everybody's Chubbs talking Peterson, about Happy yeah. Gilmore. Yeah. Apollo Creed, obviously. That's an all-timer. Yeah. Uh, I don't think you get any better than Predator, though. It's so good. That movie was, I mean, the formula works. Uh, the meme. Uh, the but, baddest but also dudes the, on the hey, planet trying to get an alien. Body that's mass, the baddest man. fucking... What alien? happened when I told you he died before we went on air today? What happened? Yeah. You clapped up. You clapped up, dude. You gave oh, me the yeah, fucking... Oh, yeah, I said, you son meme. of a bitch. <laughs> I gave him the, yeah. You son of a bitch. Yeah, right, well, it felt pretty good. It's classic, man. It was really good, yeah. dude. I'm going to be honest. We didn't know each other. Yeah, and I gave it as good I as told strong. you he died, and then yep. boom, you gave that to me. Yeah. Although Dylan did kind of fuck the team over a little bit. He didn't tell them what they were getting into, right? So... Right. You know, no spoiler alert. That movie's from 1978 or some Dylan shit. Dylan is trending also right now, by the way. Didn't uh, he, you know? Anytime a man tells you that someone died while he's holding a giant cooler, he, you do go. Is this related? <laughs> <laughs> What's in the cooler there? You know. 
<laughs> Luckily, it was just some beverages that he was keeping cold, but like he was holding a cooler and then tells us a man died. Yeah. Fucking A, dude. We lost a goat today. Uh, he's pretty cool. Carl Weathers, rest in peace. R.I.P., brother. R.I.P. Uh, now's the point in the show we get to the drinking bro of the week, which is someone who has inspired you or helped you become the person you are today. Oh, I like that. Who would you like to give the drinking bro of the week to? Mm, a man who's helped me be the man I am today. Could also be a woman, but... Could be. You know, in your situation, I don't think that's going to yeah, be relevant. Probably not. Reverse cowboy <laughs> for a guy it? like you, you know? A lot of height, you're on top. <laughs> Um, well, you guys got one, or is we each do one, or is it just, no, no, just no, you? Just the just you. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. We've had a couple thousand episodes on this goddamn oh, thing. Oh, yeah, so, so we know. yeah, you'd be yeah. out of guys. Uh, I'll say Terry Bradshaw. Mm, nice. <laughs> Love Terry Bradshaw. <laughs> where did you grow up in Pittsburgh? <laughs> no. Uh, I did a TV show with him where we mm. went to a bunch of different countries together, and he became like a father figure to me. But Terry also, Bradshaw? Yeah, TB. What was the fucking. We got tattoos for his 67th birthday in Thailand. I got his number tattooed on my shoulder. Shut the He's fuck up. He's one of the greatest men I've ever known. That's I spent awesome. Christmas with him. I spent Thanksgiving with him. I used to spend every Sunday with him at, at Fox watching football, but since COVID, they don't let anybody come to the lot anymore, hmm. even now, which is crazy. But, anyways, oh Terry Bradshaw is the absolute man. I fucking love him. He also, I never had like a man man in my life, you know, like, like he, Terry taught me how to fish, and, you know, smoke, I smoke cigars every day, it's because TB, like, he just helped me be, like, be the guy that I am now, which I think is the question you guys asked, so, Terry yeah. So the picture that's up here is, is your hand on Terry Bradshaw's and Henry Winkler. leg, and, and Henry fonts. Winkler, yeah. where did Winkler come into uh, uh, the picture here? So we did a, t my show, was, or not my show, the show I was on was a young guy, me, taking four legends to multiple countries, Asia, Africa, Europe. I took Henry Winkler, George Foreman, Terry Bradshaw, and William Shatner. And the show was called Better Late Than Never. No fucking yeah. way. Two seasons on NBC. It was great. I so don't know like, much about uh, uh, George, but fucking Shatner's awesome. I, I, like I, I, I worked with Shatner. I like all the guys but Shatner. Really? What? What? Well, he, he was a fucking him? asshole. Uh, he just is. Uh, he's an actor, and he's he's kind of a weirdo. Yeah, he's yeah, a weird guy. He, and before I enjoyed everyone, working been, with him, before everyone goes, oh, Jeff Ty's talking shit about William Shatner. William Shatner is a, he's just a certain type of guy. That's mm -hmm. all. You know, some people like dogs, mm -hmm. and some people like cats, and he's a very cat-like guy. Was he nice to me? Yes, but he was just. It's a lot. It's like, <laughs> you know, it's like you're dealing with like this guy all the time. You know, it's just a lot. <laughs> But it was a very fun show. Check it out. I only had to spend a day with him, so if you were spending a whole whole goddamn thing with him, why you out of this? Like, was there a casting call for this, or did you pitch this show? I was on a different show on NBC. No, I didn't pitch it. We stole the idea from, uh, or didn't, they bought the idea from an Asian show where a young guy, a younger guy takes his grandpa and his grandpa's three friends to do all these bucket list things before they die. Mm -hmm. um, and madness ensues. Uh, but no, I was on a different show called I Can Do That. And they were not going to bring the show back, but they were like, but we love you. We'll try to find something. Mm -hmm. So they already had this show like in the works and they didn't have all these four guys locked, but they knew what the premise of the show would be. And then we, they're like, we need like a nice young guy who's going to be able to hang with these dudes. And so I got the job. No shit. That's One sweet. of the best jobs I ever had. Yeah. What a wild gig. Yeah. Uh, I think I remember this. Uh, you went like literally everywhere. Like yeah. Great Wall of China, all yep, kinds of everything. crazy shit, We did right? everything. Oh, did you get a piggyback ride up the Great Wall like Justin Bieber did that time? Remember that shit? Uh, no, but we, we Jump did on a, Terry's back? I did a thing where I was pushing them up the because um, we were trying to see Mount Fuji. Mm. But the pretty thing is, like, that's like a, a day hike, like an afternoon hike. Like, you have to be in pretty good shape to see yeah. Mount Fuji. So we just took him to this area where you could see Mount Fuji. Mm. But even that was like a whole thing, just getting them up this flight of stairs. But, you know, so, yeah, it was fun. That's awesome, dude. That was a good time. Does George Foreman just call everybody George? Uh, Does he all, know other names? <laughs> well, all of his kids, yeah. Yeah. I, I used to have a joke where I'd say, uh, you know, George Foreman's the only boxer who escaped brain damage. <laughs> you know, just ask his kids: George Jr., George Jr., George Jr., George Jr., Georgina Jr. Big fan, yeah. big fan of George Foreman. Actually, one of his uh, kids lives uh, in town here. I don't know when this goes up, but Big Wheel, hit me up. I'm in Austin until mm. Tuesday. All right. Yeah, I uh, just watched the biopic of him. I took my kids. Really to good, see it. right? Yeah. 
Yeah. Wait, who plays George? Unknown guy, um, mm. which you need to yeah, yeah. nobody Different guys, right? Yeah, because nobody looks like, like him. Like an old guy and a young guy. So you need somebody yeah. to, to kind of but play. They did good. Yeah, yeah, really good. It's always some nobody that does the biopics the best. I yeah. thought it'd be some low budget Christian movie because you know they make the they knock I those agree. out yep. and then, mm. then there's a you know and no Straight disrespect DVD, I'm yeah. not like trying to be mean to Christianity or nothing but there is this overlying kind of like. See, God helped him. You should be Christian too. But like, this doesn't have anything. It's just a really great story. Mm -hmm. um, and he, since he's a man of, got a man of faith, he's got, they're going to put it in there. It was a great movie. It was. It's on. A, it actually just went to Netflix. Um, I took my oh, kids. Yeah, my kids, big boxing fan, so we wanted to see it in theaters. And it was, I think, rated G or PG or something. And it like didn't that. have any of that like everyone's racist in the old days. Nothing. Like, it didn't have any of that. It was just nope. a really good movie. It was just a good film. Uh, tell everybody where they can find you and uh, and where are you performing next? He's gonna do a splash, dude. <laughs> no, which he would have never is. done. He never no, done. no, he, no. he dropped the leg, dude. Yeah, this bullshit. But this toy is a little clunky. So. Yeah, well, he can't even bend his knee. It's like the real Sorry. Hogan. Sorry, yeah, it sure is, dude. Yeah, <laughs> stiff. I feel like a pig. Stiff, dude. I feel like a pig. Yeah, you know what? There's one time I watched this old video of him where he's like, if you just listen to the words, you're like, wait, what did he say? He's like, uh, he's trying to get all jacked up, and mm. he goes. They showed him a highlight reel of of, of himself, mm -hmm. and then he goes, "That turns me on, brother. That turns me on, brother. I can't watch another man go down like that without ripping off my clothes." And he tears his shirt off, and you're like, "Wait, those that sentence is freezing, super gay." Yeah, no, it's yeah. not. At Revisit all. that. It's yeah. not at all. Nope. We'll, I'll find it. For He's you. finding his own dominance within his uh, gayness. I'm and a I real like American. I am a so uh, you can find me at jeffdie.com. I've got a bunch of podcasts. I got one called Everybody's Got a Price with Josh Nelson. I have a wrestling podcast once a week with Freddie Prince Jr. Oh, sweet. Called uh, Wrestling with Friends. Wait, didn't Josh? Josh Wolf. Wolf used to do a yeah, show. Yeah, he was them? a homie yeah. of ours. Yeah, they used or to, yeah. are they still doing it? No, they have no. They don't do this. No He's more. got a show with his kid now. Oh, that's right. Yeah. Josh yeah. does. Yeah. Yeah, uh, they used to have one. Uh, I don't remember what it was called, but I did. Uh, I was a guest. Or big fan of Josh. Yeah, yeah. 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 He's awesome. he's uh, he's touring with his kid right now, so they're doing a show together. Yeah, nice. Uh, that's great. How's Freddie? He's good. Yeah, happy. He's awesome. Such a cool guy. The best boss I've ever had too. I'm like out here doing stuff, and I'm like, hey man, I can't make the episode. He's like, no big deal. Like, like the easiest, coolest. I think he might be one of the coolest guys I've ever known. Like, that's just, what everybody a, says. just a cool guy. Yeah, probably yeah. happy. Chill. That'll do it. Yeah, Bye. he's probably happy. Yeah. Him, they've been, he's been married for Sarah Michelle Geller for what, 20 years? Over 20 years, years yeah. 21, 22 years, yeah. She's awesome, too. They're just, everything's cool. Their kids are cool. Everything about the, I can't, I don't know, like, Freddie's got the ideal thing going. That good, rocks, Good dude. temperament, just a happy dude. Yeah, <laughs> that's what happens when you're rich. Yeah, it's pretty cool. <laughs> well, he also <laughs> fucked off from Hollywood a little bit, too. Yeah, he got sick of it. Yeah. Which is fine, dude. Him, you man. gotta, it's like, I tell everybody, it's like Vegas. You pull the fucking chips off, dude, and then you leave, and uh, and then don't look back and, and all that other shit. Yeah, like, you go, what was go. I chasing? Yes, what was it? What yeah. was the thing? And then once you do the things, you're grateful for the things. Yeah. And it's the people who look back on it like, oh, man, fuck it. So If everybody just did mushrooms, they could come to that conclusion yeah. pretty quick. Oh, yeah. Dan, Dan's one of the happiest people I know. Well, that's, yeah. what, that's what made me real. Like, actually, it was kind of the secret to my success or made me the kind of the guy I am. That's the, the person of the week, mushrooms. Mm, yeah. yeah. There you go. Ram I remember Doss. just sitting in the woods looking at the stars and going, what's my problem? And I was just going, I don't know. Maybe if my house had four stories, maybe that would make me happy. That four story does it. And maybe though, if I had it? 12 trucks. <laughs> maybe, if, maybe if I had a whole closet of guns, Jeff. Uh, maybe if I well, met a woman with six tits, I'd actually be, wouldn't be a scumbag. I, six whoopee tits? You know what I mean? I think yeah. the closet full of guns might be an actual needle mover. But you right. start yeah, thinking, yeah. no, all that makes you happy. But the point is, it's like, it's just never enough. Yeah. We're, we're such little sucks. <laughs> and so it's like, like they just keep sucking, just keep more, more, more. So it's like the mushrooms makes you really realize, eh, you're mm. fine, everything's okay. Yeah, we're all gonna be good. It's good, you're all right. We're gonna be good. Where are you performing at next? Um, I don't know when this goes up. Sunday night. Sunday night. Sunday night. So uh, I'm recording my special in Nashville at a place Zanies? called the Electric Jane. Oh, okay. And uh, that's uh, Friday and Saturday. I'm not sure if there's tickets available, but check me out on jeffdie.com. Find tickets. I'm touring 50 weekends a year. I'm always somewhere. Holy shit. Yeah, I love comedy. I do it every night. No. Okay. No wife, no kids, no girlfriend. I was going to say, that's the only way you can do yeah. 50 weekends. Which means I'm rich. Uh, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, a lot of time, a lot of comedy. Nailed it. Thanks for being here today. Thanks for having me. This is awesome. You guys have a cool place. I could do this all day. This is fucking awesome. Jeff God, Jeff Die, everybody. Ooh. Funny fucking dude, man. Thanks mm -hmm. for being here. Go to iTunes, rate the show a five star, and leave a quick review. Also, head on over to Spotify. It's just a five star, and you can walk away at that point. For Danthony and Anthony Holloway, I'm Ross Patterson. This is the Drinking Bros Podcast. Good night, everyone. <laughs>